The season is over, but we continue on here. We're going to be talking about the NFL draft, free agency, players who are free agents, who do we need to resign, as well as players who the Detroit Lions should cut. We're also going to get into the 2023 NFL schedule, the opponents that we have. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of watching the movie Rocky, where the little guy is always beating up and winning, even though all odds are against them, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we took all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Sometimes being a Lions fan, we can actually get a knockout. Also, take that like button with you and let the bad boy get KO'd. Let's get into today's Lions news. <music> Well, the home opponents and the away opponents have been shown. We know who we are facing in 2023. We don't know what dates it's going to be. We don't have that yet, but we know who the opponents are. The Detroit Lions obviously facing the Bears, Vikings, and Packers, but home, we are facing the Atlanta Falcons. A lot of question marks for that football team. Don't even know who the quarterback's going to be there. Carolina Panthers, whom we faced this year and took an L2, but we're not at their house. They're coming to our house. We'll have an opportunity for revenge in that game. Denver Broncos, who are absolutely terrible this year because good old Russell Wilson it seems like he's fallen off a cliff. They will be coming to Detroit. Las Vegas Raiders. We don't know who the quarterback's going to be. Derek Carr, probably not going to be the guy. They decide to bench him. He stays away from the Raiders. And who knows who the quarterback's going to be for them. Seattle Seahawks, yes, 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 we face Seattle Seahawks again. The Lions have an opportunity for a revenge game against that football team. Folks, I got a question for you before we get into the away opponents. Do you believe that this was a successful season with the Detroit Lions fin finishing at 9-8 and eight but missing the playoffs? Let me know in the comments section below. Why for yes and for no? I'm curious to see what you think. Now, me personally, absolutely, I think this is a success. I had the Lions getting seven to eight wins. They surpassed that and get to nine. Almost made the playoffs, and they played really well at the end of the season. So let me know what you think. Let's continue on with the away opponents for the Detroit Lions. Chicago, Minnesota, Green Bay. We know that. Kansas City Chiefs. Now, that is going to be an extremely difficult game. Good old Patrick Mahomes in there. Oh, my God. We got the Los Angeles Chadges. Chadges. It's going to be a hard opponent as well. Why Justin Herbert? Really good. They got some quality players over there. It's a good football team. New Orleans Saints. We have no idea what is going to happen for this football team. They're in a big question mark. Who knows who the quarterback's going to be? Who knows what players they're going to have? I couldn't tell you. Too many questions. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, big question there. Tom Brady probably not going to be back for this team. A lot, of, a lot of questions for that football team. I think the Lions have a chance to win that game. The Dallas Cowboys. So we always face Dallas. I don't know what it is, but we'll have an opportunity for a revenge game after we took the L this past year. We'll have an opportunity to beat them. Baltimore Ravens, that's a good football team there. Question marks, will Lamar Jackson be the quarterback? For that team, I, I believe so. I'm going to just go ahead and say he probably is going to be the quarterback for that team. It's going to be a difficult game. But you want to know what, folks? This is different from years past. We're a, we're a difficult team to play against as well. So now when other fan bases looks at their schedule and they see the Detroit Lions, they're like, hey, that's going to be a difficult game. And that's really good. So if the Lions want to make the playoffs next year, if they want to really make some noise, beat these teams. Beat the hard teams. I'm all about it, and I think they can get it done. So when I look at this schedule, I'm happy. I am happy with what we have there, and I think the Lions are going to prove it next year, as I do believe the Lions will compete for the NFC North title. Just FYI, before we even know what takes on in the offseason with free agency and the draft, I have the Detroit Lions winning the NFC North. I think they're going to take that next step. You look at these last 10 games, 8 wins out of 10. And that's what I like seeing. So I think they're doing really good. Really excited for that. Now, Pro Football Network has some team needs for the Detroit Lions. It's interesting on this one. I think a lot of people will question the first one. But we're going to get into it right now. 
The first team needs from Pro Football Network is quarterback. Now, it didn't, necess- it didn't say if we're talking starting quarterback or backup. Starting, we don't need a, a Jerry Goff's quarterback. Backup, I have no problem with getting a backup quarterback. I think that is a team need for sure. Next year, again, I, th- I have us competing for the playoffs. And if you lose Jared Goff for a couple games, you want a guy who's serviceable, who can hold the fort down while he's injured. The last thing that we want as Detroit Lions fans is Jared Goff to go down while we're competing for an NFC North title. And we have no one that can hold the fort down for two games, and then we don't win the NFC North or we don't make the playoffs because of injury. That would be absolutely brutal. So I, I agree for backup role. Cornerback, that is the biggest need for right now. I think that's definitely the biggest need. We need help opposite of whoever the hell is going to be. Is it going to be Jerry Jacobs? What's going on with Jeffrey Akuda? We need a cornerback, and I do believe the Detroit Lions address it fairly early in this year's draft and potentially in free agency. Defensive tackle, 100%. That is a need. We need one more guy in the middle of the next to Lee McNeil. I think if we get a defensive tackle, a stud, the defensive line is complete, and we're, we're going to have a very good one just like the offensive line guard. 100%, I don't believe Big V is coming back. I mean, he could. I just don't believe that's the case. And we had a rotation at right guard. We need to get a starter. They could address it in the first three rounds. Safety. I'm not sure about this one because we got – Kirby Joseph, who's who is clearly now a starter, and you got Tracy Walker, who will be coming back. Will they bring back Deshaun Elliott potentially? I don't know if it's a much of a need now. If they want to draft for a backup role, I have no problems there. Or best player available, and if it's a it's a safety, I'm all about it. But I'm not sure about this one. Let me know in the comments section what do you grade Brad Holmes for this year? A, B, C, D, or F? This year, I've given him an A, no, no doubt about it, in my opinion. Drafting James Houston, drafting these players who's contributed, like Kirby Joseph. Players, Khalif Raymond, who comes in here, the commish. A lot of players are really standing out because he has done a phenomenal job. So I'm giving him an A. But what do you guys got? Let's go ahead and talk about some free agents. Well, free agents the Lions do have this year. I'm going to go through the list really quick, and i give you my thoughts. Alex Anzalone, free agent. Could the Lions bring him back? Potentially, they could. I think they should upgrade the linebacker position, though, uh, better in the draft and free agency. But if they want to bring him back and still upgrade the position, I'm for it. Trinity Benson. Huge shout-out to Trinity Benson. Anyways, he he uh, reposted my thing on Twitter. Uh, should he? Should we bring him back? I guess is a. I guess in in the practice squad potentially. We just got such good depth at, at wide receiver, it's difficult to think that he could eclipse one of these guys. Chris Board, probably not. I don't think he should come back. Evan Brown, absolutely. He's been our backup all year. Austin Bryant, he's not coming back because of our defensive line upgrades. Isaiah Bugs is a backup role. Absolutely no problem there. DJ Chark, yes, I think the Lions should re-sign him. I think they should bring him back. He has shown through the last half of the season his value. And he's just getting better and better. Him and Jared Goff are on the same page. Bring him back. John Kaminsky, absolutely. The commission needs to come back. He's been integral towards the Lions defensive line. Scott Daly, eh, practice squad, I guess. Jared Davis, no reason to bring him back. Deshaun Elliott, just like I said earlier, they could they could bring him back. Will Harris, no way. Jose, don't want him back. Mike Hughes, I guess the backup role. But I still want them to upgrade the cornerback position. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's continue on with more free agents here. Justin Jackson. Yeah, I can see him as a backup role. Benito Jones. Why? No reason. Tom Kennedy. Practice squad, I guess. Tommy Kramer. Yes. Bring him back as a backup. Matt Nelson. Eh, not really. No for Amani Awarie. Anthony Pittman. Probably not. Bobby Price. I guess you could do that in in for the practice squad. Dan Skipper. Yeah. Have him back. He, he helped us out this year, but it'd probably be a practice squatter. Nate, Nate Sudfield, no. I want them to upgrade that position for the backup role in the draft or free agency. Jamal Williams, absolutely bring Jamal back. Josh Woods, why? Brock Wright, absolutely Brock Wright. And thank, thankfully, he's, he's a restricted free agent. So that's are the free agents. What are some cut candidates for the Detroit Lions here? These are the cup candidates. Michael Brockers, absolutely, he's getting cut. 
Romeo Aquara. No, I think he. I think right now he should stay. Halapluti Vati Vaitai. Yeah, definitely gone. And Charles Harris gone at four mil a year. So those are the guys there, and there, there you can get little ones too for cut candidates, l- little players as well that that could um, add up. But uh, I think I think I want Romeo to come back. He has shown some flashes when he's been here, and the defensive line is stout. Let's just keep it stout. You, you can have never have enough pass rushers for sure. So go ahead and keep Romeo Aquara. The rest of these guys. They can go. So what is the draft looking like now that the Detroit Lions season is over? Here is our selections in round one. We own the sixth pick in the 2023 NFL draft via Rams. That's where we're picking at. Very good draft pick. Almost top five. Got close. And pick 18 in round one. That is our selection there. So a a decent pick, top 20 pick for the Detroit Lions. Thanks for us losing and not making the playoffs. So that's what we got for the draft. And again, I think we talk about the draft. A lot of videos going to be coming up here soon on my channel. Ton of dress and everything. It's off season now. And we're going to have some fun with that for sure. And especially when you got two first round picks, it makes that even better. So excited about that. We got videos dropping every single day on this channel, even though that it's off season. So if you're ready for Lions content, we got it. Free agency, draft. Rumors, news, live shows, the One Pride podcast still on every single Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. With that said, folks, adios. <laughs>